Hi YouTube. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about something just beyond everything, beyond this beyond the surface. Okay? Um I'm going to first start off by saying um it cringes me when a person says that in order to survive in this world, you need money. It cringes me because it's absolutely false. First of all, society is nothing more than an agenda, a concept created. Nothing more than that. Really, society is inconsequential. And the only reason why society is so prevalent in this world the only reason why it matters so much why society is a part of life is a part of reality is because so many people conform to society and because of that it's a part of this world okay but a real outside of the box thinking perspective when you think about it society is not you is not a way to survive. society is not a part of you. reality honestly the only reality that there is is the organic world the planet the universe that is the only reality that you have Okay? Because if it wasn't for the universe existing in the first place, there would no there would be no society. That's a fact. So it really makes you think, who really makes the laws? You don't need money to survive. If you think you need money to survive, you are conformist. Money is just resourceful to get yourself around in this systematic fabricated reality that we live in called society okay but when you think about it where does everything come from where does everything we buy come from the earth it started from point a right point a was the planet so if we live on this planet then why would we need the money to buy it when it's already here for us Okay, you can make your own clothes, you can grow your own food. You can make your own house. You can even make your own car if you wanted to. You can make your own jewelry, okay? Because the resources that you need to survive are already here. The sad thing is, we're a little bit too late because our earth is dying and we're losing resources. And if anybody ever wakes up and figures out that we are being controlled, okay, that we are having lies and fabrications shoved down our throats, embedded into our heads, if we can wake up out of that and realize that we have more rights to our land than we think we do, then... We are, we would be too late to actually start even progressing that organic way of living. Unless you want to move out of America. And it was put in our heads that in order to survive or the meaning of survival is building your status. No, no, not building your intellect your mind or your soul or your heart whatever you want to refer to it as but building our status and that is why everybody is so competitive vain and superficial because they think I mean they have it and they've had it conformed into their head that that is what survival is I feel like the government has created social media 
to make everybody become narcissistic sociopaths because why it's even more easier to control us when we're like that we're obsessed with facebook we we get on instagram and we post selfies of ourselves every five minutes and all it does is makes us want to shop more okay makes us want to eat more and in all in all in aspects make us spend more money and it's just going to get worse and worse and worse each generation and i mean i honestly don't even know what to say like I, i'm making this video because i want to speak my mind and you know get it out there and let people hear this you know what i'm saying but i mean i don't feel like trying anymore you know like if a person asks me this is what i would probably tell them but at the end of the day i'm not actually not going to try to convince anybody anything all i'm just going to do is sit back and watch you know what i'm saying because i've i've been through it all like i'm not very old you know what i'm saying but i've as a rebellious as a rebellious child i've always i always questioned everything questioned Christianity my family was Christian I questioned Christianity because I found science you know what I'm saying and then I looked beyond science and I found that our world is way more way 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 more than we even know it you know what I'm saying and there's just there's just so much that, that explains why or, or kind of supports the fact that our government and this society that we live in it's just a fabrication it really is because it does not matter <laughs> compared to the laws of physics the laws of physics is the only laws that's that's just the truth and you know i'm not i'm not totally against the system because there are very good things you know what i'm saying i'm not against civilization I think civilization is good. I think it keeps us together and it creates strong communities. I think setting laws so that people don't just go and do whatever they want is good too because I feel like, you know, people shouldn't murder each other, people shouldn't steal. Things like that. So there are definitely really good things about civilization and about laws. But at the same time, there the bad outweighs the good because we are not we are not just people embr embracing morality and good heartedness, which civilization should be. It should be something to embrace good heartedness, wholesomeness, and community and care and love for one another is what I see civilization as being. Because civilization, a civil, a civilization is not just a one-man thing. It takes a community to build a civilization. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as people, we're not embracing that aspect of civilization. We are, we are embracing all the, the the bad things. You know, the status. It's about status with everyone. And you know, and a lot of people are not going to listen. Um. These subjects are often ignored. A lot of people are going to say that people who see this are crazy, paranoid, or you know, and it, it, ha it has nothing to do with paranoia. Okay, it's only I can only say it's paranoia if the re of if the links don't match up. If they don't let if they don't match up. Okay, maybe a conspiracy theorist, and I'm not even a conspiracy theorist. I'm just a realist. Um, are paranoid but the links add up it really does like you can match everything you're seeing on tv in the media you can match it up with your day-to-day -day life and what it's like you really can so if it, if the links can match then it has to be in some form real you know what i'm saying but it's okay you know um like i said i wasn't going to i'm not going to convince anybody all i'm doing is just speaking my mind and expressing what I know 
And at the end of the day, everybody's going to make their own choices. And there's there's not, I don't I actually don't feel like I need to do anything because it's just not my battle. That's just how I feel about it. So, you know, I'm taking care of myself and understanding more and more about what's outside of this world. <laughs> All I can do is sit back and stare into oblivion and watch the world disappear. <laughs> Sit back and stare into oblivion And watch the world disappear, yeah, yeah All you ever do is sit back and stare Without any care And watch the world burn I was bred to be a martyr To enter the pop charts with a bomb strapped to my chest To be the one to crucify them Who's dropping beats that I can't digest Manifest in the quest Will it be for the best? Yes, the ultimate test Cause I'm gonna put an end to the tasteless Pop propaganda that is fully the baseless You, yes, you know who Mr. CEO, leave you black and blue Strip you of all you ever knew To put before the news and later to survive Cause I look in your executive eyes Another vision of fear that you've been taken for a ride